Hey everyone, welcome to episode one of In Focus. I'm one of your hosts, Adam. And on this week's episode, we're gonna be talking about as a photographer, how you can be productive during some of your downtime. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of In Focus with Adam Goldberg Photography and Joseph Roybal Photography. I'm Adam. Hey everybody, and I'm Joseph. Since this is our first episode, we did want to take a minute just to introduce ourselves a little bit more to everyone. And so Joe is based out in Colorado. He is an amazing landscape photographer. He travels the world taking pictures of beautiful landscapes. He runs some workshops and teaches about all things landscape photography. So super excited that you are gonna be co-hosting with me going forward. Yeah, well, thanks so much, Adam. And this has been a collaborative between Adam um, and myself over a period of time here, getting this going. And Adam, uh, to introduce him, you know, he is an incredible architectural photographer based in Atlanta. Uh, be sure to check his work out as well. He does a ton of hospitality, uh, you know, buildings, um, just real estate, just his work is incredible. So be sure to check him out. And so this is a lot of fun between the two of us, me being more outside in that regard, landscapes, Adam architectural, but at the end of the day, it's all about photography. So we're really pumped to be putting this together. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so before we dive into our discussion today, which is going to be about how to stay productive during downtime, um, we did want to take a quick moment just to kind of talk through what everyone can expect here during this video podcast. We want it to be about all things photography. We want to have insights that are valuable to other photographers as well as provide some hands-on learning. We are doing this over Zoom, so hopefully um, we're going to be able to do some, some sharing going forward. Um, of our screen so that way folks can really see some of our processes, some of our uh, work that we do and how we do it. And again, to really provide some of that hands-on learning. Um, Joey does an awesome job with scouting of landscapes. So hopefully we can get him to dive into an episode all about scouting. And again, because it's over Zoom, maybe we can um, actually have some folks of, from our audience come in and actually participate in the meeting. So excited for that. Um, again, the goal here is to have experts in their field of photography sharing their experiences to just provide some additional learning opportunities for photographers out there. All right, so I think we can just go ahead and, and dive into it and get into the nitty gritty here of this episode. Um, we thought it would be great to start out by talking about how to stay productive during downtime because it is May 2020 and it's coronavirus. It's taken over our lives <laughs> for yeah. the past, what, eight weeks or so, Joe? Somewhere around oh, there. Been, well, it feels like it's a lot longer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it might as well be an eternity here with um, kind of sheltering in place and, and not really being able to go out and do so much stuff. So um, things are opening up a little bit now and people are getting back to work. But um, our thought here was talk about some of the things, again, that we can do during downtime Maybe in the future, you're not quite as busy as you were hoping to be, and some things that you can do to be productive. So with that, Joe, what have you been up to lately, man? Yeah, you know, like, like Adam said, this has been, feels like it's been a bit of an eternity. It's almost hard to remember what things were like before. And it it's happened fast. It happened really fast. It was like mid -mar early March, like everything was good, and now all of a sudden, real quick, yeah. it, it turned. Real quick. Just bam, you know, and... Yeah, so, you know, ultimately it's been one of these things where it's, well, it's been how you said, it's been super fast, super rapid. It's been like, well, okay, what do we do now? We can't, like for me, I had workshops set up and planned and um, in the field and can't do those. And so, okay, there you go. And then, um, I don't know, I, I, I guess essentially it's been like a whole business model shift in a, in a way for the current period. Uh, you know, ultimately right now I've been doing a lot of getting caught up on a back, on my backlog, my backlog of photo photos that I've captured over the last year or two, if you will, maybe even three, there's been just so much going on that 
you know, in these past two, three years that, you know, how it is when you start working and you've got oh, yeah. life, you have so many things going on. So that's been something I've been doing right now, just to really try and keep myself busy. And it's been great. I've also been working on uh, post-processing, obviously, this backlog. And so that's kind of trying to dive into uh, the art of processing. And I recently switched over to Sony from Nikon. And I am in the throes of trying to figure out why everything looks pink and green when you <laughs> don't want I'm it sure, to. I'm sure that's fun. And that's, that's, that's something that you know anyone who's switched, switched camera systems can probably relate to. That's, you're, you're probably struggling through that right now. Oh, it's the worst. It's the worst. I don't understand. Like, I don't understand how it could be so pink and green. <laughs> so I don't know, writing, I've been doing more blog posts, but uh, I also kind of built out a home studio more so because before this, my office looked or, you know, looked just ridiculous. So welcome everyone to my new office. Of it looks future. good. It looks, it looks really good. You know, it's nice and clean. Thanks, man. So, and, and I, I actually have, have done some cleaning up. This is not always how my, my desk space looks as well. So that's, that's something that I've put a little bit of time into here as well, which is, which has been nice. Cause I, I think we spend so much time in front of our computers. I mean, people think, you know, when you go talk to clients that the majority of your work is actually taking place out in the field, whatever your field is, the majority of work's actually happening right. back at your desk. And so having a good office space, is, is definitely nice. It's, it's clutch. Yeah, totally. You know, and we've talked about this, Adam, how often do you spend, you know, actually out shooting? Would you say 10, 20% of the time if I'm lucky, you know? <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. If you're, if you're, if you're lucky about it. So yeah, I don't know. What have you been doing in this downturn time turn to the downtime? Yeah. So the, a, a couple things, you know, like you said, you're, you're so busy hustling, whether it is actually taking photos for clients, um, whether it is trying to build your business, get new clients. There's, there's so many things that you're doing. You're hustling around your business all the time. And that could be a completely different episode. So not going to get into that here, but one of the things that had been kind of on my plate for a while had been updating my website. You know, it's, it's a lot of times the first view that, potential clients get of my work and some of my image galleries, the, the way that they were laid out had been bothering me for a while and that mm -hmm. they weren't all standard sized images in the, in the gallery. So obviously, you know, when you actually click on it and you get out of it, you know, it looks, looks like a nice image and no one knows that maybe they're cropped a little bit differently, but there just wasn't a nice uniform look to, my pages and so that's something that i spent some time on was okay what are some updates to my website i can make so that way i'm presenting myself as well as possible to potential clients when this is over and folks are going to be starting to look for um an architectural photographer to take pictures of a hotel office yeah. space um or just any new building that's that's been constructed so that was one thing that I, that I spent some time doing. Um, I don't know about you, but I have tons of forms and contracts that I have to deal with um, in terms of getting clients to agree with everything. So I, I always go through and update those on a pretty regular basis when I can, because I feel like I always leave something out, not intentionally, but there, there's something in your contract that you, you miss and you finish with the client, you're like, yeah, I kind of wish that it had that in my contract. So I could kind of say, Hey, it's in the contract. Um, <laughs> right. but right. Cause you've been dealing with that all the time. Yeah. I mean, you, you do stuff comes up, um, whether it's, you know, Oh, I need this rush editing done for, for a project or the only time you can shoot it is Saturday night from 8 PM to, to 6 PM. And, you didn't really agree to that beforehand for whatever reason or the time changed <laughs> and it's not in your contract that if they do change the time to that, well, there's, there is an extra fee. Um, I know with landscape, you're up, you know, sometimes all night anyway. So that's, that's not as big of a deal for you, but um, you know, I, I guess I, I do some twilights and stuff too, but it's, it's, it's a little different, but anyways, 
Um, so forms, agreements, getting all those kind of cleaned up, making sure that everything that I want in there is in there. Um, and the last thing, which I think goes, ties in a little bit to what you said about editing and, and talking about your craft and, and working on your editing processes to, to refine your images is, um, I actually spent some of this, this time going back and looking over some old tutorials from other architectural photographers and um, YouTube videos and articles right. just to, you know, I, I've already watched them and read a lot of stuff and there's, there's always new stuff coming out, but I think there's always an opportunity to continue to learn and grow um, and create your own style from an editing standpoint, but it doesn't mean that you can't watch a tutorial or read an article of, of some method that someone else is doing and bring that into your process to make your images better at the end of the day to help, again, you build your business to, to get more clients. Yeah. And I mean, to me, that's, that's the biggest thing for, for the downtime is what are some things that you can, can do to, again, move your business forward. Right. And it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, bombarding clients with emails. It can be watching tutorials and, and, and doing some other things in house to make yourself better. So, I mean, I don't, uh, you know, I guess anything else have you been, been up to? Well, yeah, you know, since you're talking about the, the processing and that, um, that's one of the things that I have been doing, you know, clients and you mentioning all this is I've been doing a lot more and I think it's a relevant time to be doing this, uh, an incredibly awesome time to kind of push for it is doing a lot of, um, online post-processing. Uh, working just like we're using zoom here and you know like trying this out just kind of seeing how this goes and you know ultimately like zoom is so incredible albeit the you know possible security things people have talked about lately i mean <laughs> hopefully those have been worked out hopefully they're getting worked out but you know like being able to work with clients like this via zoom has been incredible because i you know i've i've wanted to do this for years and you know you talk to people in the past and you're like hey we can do Skype or we can do whatever post-processing from your home. And no one really like wanted to do that. Yeah. You know, they, they just didn't, they wanted to like get together in a group because they wanted to, you know, well, I don't know, get together in a group and talk yeah. and do this. And, that. and then now it's, you know, nobody, nobody and everybody wants or everybody's forced home. And so now it's like a perfect opportunity to do this. And, so I've been doing a lot of that and that's been great. So, you know, that's kind of this whole thing. I, we commented on a second ago, or a few minutes ago is this whole thing shifted so fast that yeah, it forced you, it forced me, it forced everybody in this craft to like really think, all right, how can I try to still generate some income? How can I stay in front of people? How can I stay relevant? And so that's been another thing that I've been, you know, really, I don't know if I want to say grateful for but in a way kind of in a way it have been because I think now that's going to you know once this you know kind of pandemic slows down I think that we're going to get to a little bit more of like a hey let's keep this going I hope so you know? I mean I think I think like you said you know obviously this is a, a sad and tragic time for for the world and for so many individuals and families in terms of you know the impact that coronavirus has had on them but I think you're right. It's like, so what are some of the positives that have, that have come of this? And I think mm -hmm. one of the big ones is how are we connecting with each other and staying, you know, positive and, and, and staying relevant. Um, yeah. You know, I, I've been trying to engage a little bit more on um, social media and some other places too with, with photographers that I look up to, you know, um, commenting on their photos and, and, and stuff like that, maybe more than I would have otherwise, yeah. because I didn't have the time. And so now, you know, these, these photographers who I'm like, wow, like your stuff's amazing. Um, and not only to, you know, maybe build a little bit of a relationship with them also, but to, to give them that positive feedback that like, you're crushing it. Yeah. Like, and know it and own it. And like, yeah, you might not be out shooting right now, but like, you're still, you're killing it with, with what you're, with what you're producing and, and keep it up. Totally. Yeah. I couldn't, you couldn't have said it better. I think it's a really opportune time to 
take advantage of all these different outlets, especially on the, you know, any way we can reach out and get in contact, this whole, this whole paradigm has shifted a little bit. So it's, yeah, you know, it's been definitely a very sad time, of course, and so can't overlook that, but, you know, you kind of have to, or just do what you can do with what you've got, with what we're, you know, all of this we're trying to do. Yeah, I mean, and one of the things, obviously, you know, too, is I would say to folks during downtime, think outside the box of of ways and and things that you can do. I mean, this is something that you and I have, like I said, collaboratively kind of come up with, probably because we have some downtime yeah, to absolutely. think about ways that, you know, what can we do to, you know, really continue to engage with with other photographers. And I think that this is something that we thought of. We're like let's create a, a podcast, but have it actually be a video so that way we can provide some of that hands-on learning and, right. and show some, some things to, to folks that they might not otherwise get to see. And now we just got to put actually in the time to, to continue to, to do it, which I think we will because I'm really excited about this. But, you know, again, it's, it's okay to kind of think outside the box, I think, during some of these downtimes of how can you, you know, keep yourself busy and, and keep yourself moving forward as a professional. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, um, I, I, I'm really excited to, you know, like I said, this is V1, episode one, whatnot, you know, so we're coming to you live via what, you know, could potentially look like, like VHS here, who knows, but you know, <laughs> 2020. 1080p, but, 4K, yeah. whatever is, yeah. whatever comes next yeah. after that. <laughs> totally. But the idea though, you know, that Adam and I had was that it's like, Hey, you know what, let's just have fun with this. Let's do a fun little podcast, video cast, get some people that we admire within the craft here to uh, share their knowledge, their expertise. We'll collaborate. We'll put this all together, you know, like, and that's the fun thing is Adam being the architectural, like just, in, in, you know, just awesome with that knows a lot of that whole side of the, the, you know, the genre of the craft. Uh, you know, engages a ton with people. My side being more on the landscape bit of, of things, um, you know, having some of my great friends, you know, like Dan Ballard and uh, Sean Bagshaw, some of these other guys uh, and gals come on and really just try to like, you know, essentially we're starting here tonight, coming to you all and it's just kind of a process here and we invite you all to just come along, enjoy this. Um, any thoughts, feedback, um, nice ones. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we no, prefer the, the positive feedback on this for sure. <laughs> Share it with your friends. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess just to kind of summarize some of the things that we, that we talked about here um, for, again, some of those things you can do during your downtime or maybe when you're just a little bit less busy than you'd like to be, those website updates. Keep the website updated. Keep it looking sharp so that way that first impression that your clients are going to get from you is what you want to portray to them. Um, you talked about backlog. Get some of that work done that's been piling up for weeks or months or years, um, whether that's just years, editing yeah. photos, office cleanup, forms, any of that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see. Number three, learning. Go find some tutorials, read some articles, engage with other photographers find ways to better your craft within your niche. Yeah. Uh, and then number four, last thing was networking, make your circle bigger, find a way um, to engage with other photographers or even just other individuals in your industry. You never know where your next client is potentially going to come from. You just don't totally. know. So um, yeah. So I think those are, those are kind of the four highlights there. Um, of, of kind of things to do during during your downtime. So, Joe, any uh, last words for for our audience here today? Well, you know, like I had I had just said, you know, this really is just wanting to be a fun, educational, conversational, uh, you know, video cast. So, really, you know, ultimately, I think that not a whole lot, not a whole All lot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. That means yeah. we hit on a lot of stuff. We hit on a lot of stuff, but I think the topics and the theme and, you know, what we're wanting to cover over the next X amount of time, you know, we're Adam and I are looking to make this be a prolonged bit. So come along for the ride. I think it'll be a lot of fun. And um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, 
absolutely for having yeah. me on thanks, for, thanks for putting thanks, this together yeah absolutely thanks for thanks for joining me on this on this trip here um i'm excited about our next couple episodes we got uh talking about the business of photography like i said you said you're gonna do work on scouting for landscapes i'll talk about some architectural photography stuff we're gonna bring in some guests uh, i'm gonna have some hands-on learning so pretty excited about that into the nitty gritty stuff. So you can find this video podcast on YouTube at In Focus Videocast. Please subscribe to our YouTube to be kept up to date on future episodes. There's a little bell that you can click and that'll get you informed when we have a new episode. Um, we, they will be every week going forward. So stay tuned for those future episodes. Um, you wanna take us on the go, we will also be on iTunes at in focus video cast on iTunes and you can subscribe there as well. We're on Instagram at in focus video cast. Find us there. We're going to be having some behind the scenes stuff. So definitely check that out as well. You can also yeah. email us at in focus video cast at gmail.com. We'd love to hear your feedback. If you have any questions, suggestions for us, send them on over. I know this is a lot, so please bear with me. Um, the last thing is show notes will also be in those YouTube and podcast comments so you can find stuff there. And yeah, I think to wrap things up, great episode. Thanks, Joe, for, for doing this with me. And I will talk to you next week. All right, man. Good to see you. Talk to you soon. All right. Bye, everyone. Thanks. Thanks, everybody.